But when Mahaprabhu sees the top of the Jagannath dome, you know, we're told that defects of the conditioned soul, Brahma, Pramada, Bipra, Lipsha, Karna, Patava, illusion, mistakes, cheating, imperfect senses. But he has his own type of Brahm illusion. Sometimes he's seeing a sand dune, Chatak Parbat, seeing it as Govardhan, seeing the sea as Jamuna. Just like poets in this world. You have, every, everyone sees so many things every day. What do they remind you of? Right? We all have our own experience. We're seeing so many things in life every single day. What do they remind you of? That's what it's all about. You can interpret what you see. Then we're left with interpretation. Then you have a theistic interpretation, an agnostic interpretation, or a atheistic interpretation. Well, everyone's seeing the same thing. Now it's all even because of the internet. Now everybody knows what everybody else knows. There's nothing nobody knows that everyone else doesn't know. Nothing. <laughs> really. Or that you can't find in, you know, 0. 0.000 seconds. Right. So it's just a question of how we shall interpret it. Shall we interpret it in terms of viewing, measuring it against what the heart is seeking? What the mind seeks? What the senses are seeking? How, what, what will be the criteria for measurement and establishing value or worthlessness, favorable, unfavorable, desirable, undesirable. That is before us. You cannot change the world and everyone in it or their collective karma. You have our individual karma and then there's collective karma. So, how to see? So Mahaprabhu, hit, and, and in one sense we can say, so everything is illusion. Like the Mayavadi say, but a little different. Right? Because if we say we have imperfect senses, cheating tendency, um, subject to illusion, it's funny, it's always one we forget. Brahma, Pramad, well, madness, delusion, whatever. So, how shall we see or interpret? So, Mahaprabhu, seeing the sound dune as Govardhan, the sea as Jamuna, even the Jagannath, the dome, the top, he's seeing Gopal, who's <laughs> like inviting him to come. And this is. creating some divine madness within. So we're told it's around an hour and a half it would normally take. From where this begins to the destination, Jagannath, it should take around an hour and a half. But Mahaprabhu, he's stunned. He's falling on the ground. Tears are streaming out of his eyes. They're shooting out like from a syringe. His hairs are standing on it, different types of ecstatic condition. So it takes him nine hours. Right. Should be an hour and a half. It's nine hours. <laughs> so it's best he went alone. <laughs> and when he arrives, he is in Radhabhav. He hadn't seen Krishna in a hundred years. Wants to run and embrace. Krishna, Dwaraka Krishna, Jagannath. Like you haven't seen the beloved in such a long time. 
but faints. And the guards saw that he is going to embrace the deity, climb up and like they would do to anybody, they're going to throw you out of the temple. So they're about to throw Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu out of the temple. Everyone has some ego, right? Like, hey, look, if Mahaprabhu, Radha Govinda Kamai, can be thrown out of the temple, then 